So how long have you been in ECS? I came here in 2002 uh, as an undergraduate, so it's getting on for eight years now. Um, I did a four-year MEng course, and now I'm in the last year of my MG. So and what made you decide to do your MG here? Um, a few things. Um, a lot of it was that I'd had some sort of contact with the research community over the, my, the latter end of the MN, so when I was doing my dissertation, my third year, my fourth year project, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of very cool stuff going on. I had a lot of respect for the people here. Um, in addition to that, I'd been pursuing a possible relationship with IBM as my industrial sponsor for the NGD, and they're also in, the, in this geographical area, so it made a lot of sense to be at Southampton. And what's involved in the NGD? So the NGD is basically an industrial PhD. Uh, it's a four-year qualification rather than three. Uh, so the first year is effectively a master's year where you do some MBA, some technical modules. And then the remaining three years, you're basically doing a PhD. But the difference is that you spend half of the time at your host <laughs> company or your sponsor company. And they have a steering hand in where the research goes. Uh, do you find it a challenge being a woman in a male-dominated environment? I can't say I especially do, to be honest, and maybe that's part of why I stayed in ECS as well, I don't know, but I, I've never really encountered any issues as a result of that, I'm pleased to say. Uh, what sort of projects and research have you done while you've been here? Um, various bits and bobs over the years. Um, I, it all started with my third year project as an undergrad, where I got really interested in hyperfiction and narrative and storytelling systems, which we managed to publish a short paper on and take to a conference, which was what started me thinking about doing a doctorate. In my fourth year, we did a couple of projects that we got some publications in as well. So um, there was some nice stuff to do with presence in work environments. There was some stuff to do with e-learning and things. Through my doctorate, which is obviously the biggest uh, thing in this area, I've been very interested in looking at stuff to do with understanding user experiences um, and how user interfaces work and how you might provide, we provide experiences across different contexts. Would you recommend coming to do a PhD in ECS to oh, Absolutely, yeah. Cool place. Okay, so.